What's up, everybody? Bet you're expecting fucking Chrono Trigger, huh? Well, I don't know what's up with my laptop, but it pretty much gave me the middle finger on that game today. So we're gonna go ahead and rock some Final Fantasy VIII. Last time we were here, we got that fucking Guardian Force guy. You know, that, that thing. You know, it was like a test. Now we gotta go back to where we came from. To their little home or whatever the fuck, their garden thing. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah, totally. Man, I could have cropped this better. I don't really give a damn. So there's that. So, now we are on our way back to go get ready for the fucking exam. It's a very serious part. Like, you got. If you want, like, to get, like, a certain rank, like, in the military in this game, which is called Seed, as you guys know from the last video, you gotta do everything I do. You gotta do it, like, you know, by the book. Or by the whatever. I think a moth has tried to fly in my head. I think. I'm like, I don't know. I live in Florida. Things are weird. It's fine. My audio is still being poop, so we're, we got the Final Fantasy VIII soundtrack playing in the background. Bluetooth on my speaker. So y'all can still enjoy the soundtrack. Until I can figure out why this site hates me, so I mean, we got that going for me. Yo, can this dude just die? Like, what do you want? Are you bored? Go explode elsewhere. Fuck you. Anyway. Yeah, I had like a whole, like, hour and a half video for the channel on Chrono Trigger, and it just... Like, I guess my memory was too full, and it just dis it just deleted everything. I'm like, oh, alright, cool. So, we're gonna be heading back to fucking home base. We're gonna prepare for, you know, the whole exam, that thing. We gotta pay attention. Like, I'm clearly paying attention right now. I'm multitasking. You can't judge me. Honestly, I was just gonna go to bed. <laughs> Cause I like my rage quit. <coughs> so, but I'm not gonna just let you guys not have content. The more content I get out there, the you know I'm not giving up on the stream. So, the more I post, the more closer I'm gonna be to doing what I love doing. So. I'm like half lit off a of better drill. I eat too much macaroni and cheese. I regret nothing. It's kind of sad. Like, can't believe my laptop just decided, like, oh yeah, you know what? That's not important anymore. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, okay. As I just want to double check everything works. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Alright, nope. Mm. Okay. Alright. I don't want any more fuck-ups, you know what I mean? If I gotta double-check something, I'd rather do that before I continue on with this video and it just being absolutely nothing but silent gameplay for an hour. That would suck. That would suck a lot. Sir, I don't have time for you today. Do you understand that? Do you? I just, I don't care for your nonsense today. If I'm not as funny today, or if I just sound like garbage, it's because I am. I'm just really fucking tired. Sleep has not been my friend lately. Remember, when you go and attack things with his with his gun blade, you gotta hit R1 for the trigger at the right time so you can get the full attack. You know, the full power of it. You gotta fuck them up. You gotta go hard in the paint. 
catch me drift. Yay, look at us, victory, yeah. Jesus Christ. This is really early for me. I've been yawning since like 9 o'clock. It's 11 of 7 p.m. I go to bed at like fucking what? Between like fucking 4 and 7 in the morning. Alright, let's move. No, more like between like 3 and 7. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've always been this way. I had a normal schedule for like two weeks, but it was like a little too normal. So I was like going to bed at 6 p.m. and waking up at like 3 a.m. And I felt gross, so I stopped that immediately. <laughs> I'm always gonna be a night owl person. People just need to accept it. So, suck it. I don't give a fuck. Alright, let's whoop around here with R1 so we can actually see where we're going. You know, because this map is dog shit. I'm probably gonna get like 70 goddamn battles on the way back to the fucking garden. Yup. You like that? Called it. So. Called that one. Listen. Get out of here. Those look like a bug that would probably be in Florida. It wouldn't surprise me. I fucked that up. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You gotta make sure you hit the, har the R1. It's harder because I have the sound off in this game because the audio is still being choppy. So I'm like kind of like guesstimating out of pure luck at this point. When to pull the trigger for the gun blade. It takes a minute to, to master. I haven't played this game in a really long time, so... Hell yeah! God damn it! I don't even have, like, any caffeine or either. I think I do, but it's, like, flat as fuck, though. Super flat, like cherry RC that I used when I got drunk last week. And, like, woke up on the floor. Yeah, that's gonna taste like ball sack. I'm not gonna do that. I used to, like, seriously drink nothing but soda. And I mean, like, I never drank water. I didn't, like, I had to have caffeine. I had to have that all the time, every day. Otherwise, I was just like this big raging bitch. It's just so unhealthy for you. So now it's like I've cut soda out, except for a very, very rare moment, you know, like, that I have it. Now I'm just like a water hoe. I'm all about the earth juice, baby. She's like, well done, you didn't die. I'm like, thanks. All you did was talk the whole time. Oh, there's something else I need to go over with you. Or you just shut, shut it down. Oh, this is really easy. I can explain this a hell of a lot better, but I'm gonna give you the gist of what, what's going on. Your guardian forces can actually learn abilities, okay? Um, it's pretty cool. They have EXP and ability points. EXP levels up the Guardian Force, like, per se. Ability points get put towards, obviously, an ability. You know. You get to choose how you distribute the points. So here's... You select your Guardian Force. Yeah, they're all MGK references, so... Here's the stats. Over here, I'm gonna put my mouse. I'm gonna circle with my mouse when I'm talking about, which I don't know if. I can't remember if this tutorial explains compatibility between the Guardian Force and the characters, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do that for you. You see, like, this red, the red bar right here? It's got 600, 600, it's got the names of your companions. Compatibility is basically how fast that Guardian Force is gonna be summoned. The higher the compatibility, 
the faster it's gonna show up. Like as soon, like say, so like when it gets to like the maxed out level, and you go into your menu in the middle of a battle and you select that you want this, you want this guardian force to be up next, it's gonna pop up so fucking fast. The time goes by really, really quick. So the higher the compatibility that you have with your guardian force is how fast it's gonna show up. You know, like the meter's gonna count down. The countdown's like fucking nothing. Right now, obviously, it's the beginning of the game. It's not gonna be as much. There's also um, other, there's also items around in the game, um, which I'm sure I'll remind you of later when we, you know, progress. But there's also items that will help you gain compatibility. There's like certain ones that go for like every, they go with like every guardian force and it like raises your compatibility with them. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Select learn, you go, like this is the ability list. You can start out with whatever way you want, but I tend to go for pumping up my strength and my HP first. So, that, I mean, everybody else is different. The ones in gray are what you need need to learn, and then, like, the points, obviously. So, 50, 160, you know, that, that shit. You can also choose what you want to learn next. You see that little arrow right there, the cursor? Say you don't want to learn that one right now. You want to learn the one that they're talking about on screen. You move your cursor up to that one, hit select. That's what all your ability points are going to go towards. All those, all the AP, yeah, it will be used to learn that particular thing. So. Yeah, it'll automatically go to something else, so you might want to keep a check on, like, if you're trying to do this in a specific way like I do. Um, as soon as one, the one that you've chosen, is, you know, learned and completed, the game automatically chooses another one that isn't learned yet. So you might want to check and be like, do I want to learn that one next, or do I want to, like, choose another one? You know, maybe you want some other ability first. Exactly, thank you. I already said that. I haven't played this game in years, and I already knew what she said. Dude, I've been playing Final Fantasy since I was, like, very, very little, so. Alright, what we gotta do right now is... Um, we gotta go to his dorm or whatever and change. Get ready for the fucking exam. There's a draw point, I told y'all about that shit. Cool. <coughs> So, this next coming up, like, we're gonna be going on a mission or whatever. Obviously, as you know, it's a fucking field exam. So, <sighs> I don't know why my music just stopped. Stop shit. Stop it. I don't know what happened. Yo, why is this playing audio? Stop. There we go. I don't know what that was all about. This thing's weird. Um. Trying to get some correct place. So I'm gonna get my bearings here. I'm getting my bearings here. Uh, what the fuck?
so much of shit. to avoid doing. Alright, so I had to sit there and think for a second, you know. Um, like I told y'all, this, uh, this is very important, this field exam. So I'm going to show you guys how to get like the best possible score on this exam. Because, you know, the higher rank that y'all get is the, like the more money you get, you know? And trust me, it's a fucking fuck time. Oh, it's actually playing the theme song. I'm a little behind on that one. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the dorm. Dormitory. We gotta change and we gotta meet around the fucking whatever where we just were. That thing. The directory. Here's his room. Save point right outside the door. <clears throat> Walk up to here and like, you know, like just talk at something. And then you can get changed. So there you go. There's, uh, you know school uniform right there. Now, we go back to the directory where we just came from. Those girls are always out there gossiping and shit. I wonder who's gonna pass. Like, clearly not you because you're not ready, okay? I got things to do, sweetheart. Alright. There's your instructor that you just took on an adventure earlier. Now she's going to be announcing squad assignments. Zell. Ah, <laughs> he's so funny. This dude complains about everything, by the way. Like I told you the guys in the last video, he's just emo as fuck. Like he complains about everything. He reminds me of myself, like as a teenager. I'm nowhere that bad anymore. As you can tell, he's a martial artist, so... He's a fucking funny dude, though. Pisses everybody off, and I love it. He has a hard time controlling his emotions, as you can tell. So, yeah. Let's talk about his limit break. He has a- everybody in this game has a very specific type of limit break, so let's get into it. Change the settings in the, you know, the screen, obviously. It's called dual. So if you have auto off, that means you can, like, input, you know, you can input certain ones, which, like, the codes are right here on the screen with all the fucking buttons. So, yeah, so. Those are the codes. Um, the way that you get more... Um, the way that you get more of his moves are also through magazines, just like weapons. So. Yeah. Also the same for some other limit breaks as well. Ah, uh, Cypher. My favorite resident asshole. All you have to do is ignore him. <laughs> As you can tell, our main character is not good with people. Me either, my friend. Oh, yeah, Cypher's our squad leader. It's gonna be fun, right? Oh boy. We 
alright for some stupidity. The whole disciplinary committee is there, you know. Save those words for a bad student that needs them, huh? Huh? Okay then. Good luck, Cypher. <laughs> Quist is with the burns, girl. Oh boy. What fucking list? We never find out. I don't think, right? I'm not trying to spoil the game. But, like we don't. We never found out. So there's that. Shut up, Cypher. This is the person that owns and runs the school coming up real quick to give us a bit of a pep talk. I just want everybody to know, this dude looks like Robin Williams. Does he not? Is it just me? Please, for the love of God, somebody say it in the comments. Hey, do you, like... He looks like Robin Williams, does he not? I s I've sworn by this since the day I played this game for the first time, and that was a long time ago. So, I think this game came out in like 98 or 99. So. Yeah, I didn't crop this shit a little bit, that's okay. It's whatever. Shut up, let's get on with it. He's kind of a pushover, I'm not gonna lie. Prove yourself, we gotta go prove ourselves worthy. While he leers at us and probably thinks about us at night when he's in his office. Okay, bye Robin Williams. Video game Robin Williams. I'm such a douchebag. Alright, let's go. Let's get the fucking shit over with. People have never owned. That was good. Benadryl really needs to sponsor these fucking videos. Show me your gun plane. He's like, no. Shut up. Sorry if some of the fucking shit's kind of like cut off, but I didn't. I don't know. The window didn't like crop correctly when I started recording. about the girl that was in the beginning, remember? She had like a blue and green outfit on. She was like, oh, it's nice to see you again. And he was like, what the fuck? This is great. 
I have chicken wolves and a guy who just reached puberty in this one. Oh, he's such a charmer. It's pretty easy to drive. Four to square, reverse is X, and then whatever. Yeah, you get it. Okay, we're just gonna go now. I don't care about staying on the road. Okay, because it's a fucking video game. Whatever. I'm gonna if I wanna run this car into the fucking tree, I'm gonna do it. Cause it's not gonna do anything. So you don't have to be like super fucking particular about it. it like you know flashing the fucking red or whatever okay i just had that extra cord i can't remember which cord this takes i thought i had it charged like overnight but i get i don't know sometimes shit happens you know what i mean Go ahead and plug this in real quick. Alright. Don't want to lose our music, right? It would just be weird to like sit there and uh, just game in silence like a psychopath. Don't worry about the beeping, it's just my heater. I live in Florida, so it's like you use your heater in the morning and at night sometimes, and like during the day, you gotta use your AC, otherwise, you're gonna die, dude. I get cold really easily. I'm kind of a tiny thing. And I have like no iron. I'm like, I kind of swear to God I'm iron deficient or something. I don't like the cold, okay? That's just how it goes. Let's fucking do it. We're gonna get uh, briefed here in a minute by another member of Seed. tell he's always done this and he's not like cypher's always been in these exams but he never ever like gets into the like the fucking military because he's just this cocky little shit he doesn't believe in teamwork he's selfish he's arrogant obviously you know typical 18 year old fuck boy shit I was an asshole when I was 18. I'm still an asshole like 22 years later, so. Oh yeah, there's a fucking uh, country. I honestly don't feel like pronouncing it every single time because like everybody pronounces it differently, so I'm just gonna call it Gerber Baby Army. It's gonna be fine. It's Galbadia? Gal Galbadia? G R V stands for the Galbadia or gate whatever. Whatever. It's Gerber baby from now on. You're gonna like it. I can do this. Plus it makes it funnier when I come up with these nicknames, right? Somebody better be jotting all these down, because I'm not. I don't watch my videos after I upload them. I'd rather not be reminded of the cringe of my life. And the fact that I sound like lesbian Darth Vader. Everything's boring to you, Cypher. Aye, aye, aye. 
In the order to withdraw takes priority, do not forget. Basically, when it comes time to be a chicken shit and run, you run. I don't do that. Just FYI. You know, because I have fucking cojones. That's nothing. That's such a dipshit. Our goal for this mission is to mop up all the Gerber baby soldiers in goddamn another fucking town I don't want to pronounce. Dolet, Dole, L'Oreal, Garnier Fertis. What the fuck should I nickname that one? Uh, I gotta think of a good one, you know what I mean? Like. Hmm. I'll think of one. I'll think of one and rename the town a second. My brain isn't at full capacity right now, so. Better just do it anyway. <laughs> Enjoy a cutscene, ladies and gentlemen. Probably one of my favorite ones in this whole game, besides the beginning. a name for the town now. Instead of Dole or Dolet or whatever, it's gonna be Dollar General. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Y'all gotta pay attention to the shit that I do from here on, okay? I'm still gonna make funnies, but I'm also gonna be serious. You want the highest ranking possible right out of, like, the get-go with this exam. You gotta pay attention to what I'm doing, okay? If you wanna fail, then don't. I mean, but if, you know... There's just certain things here you don't do, okay? I got you, but I got your back. What we need to do is go secure the central square. Yeah, we gotta take all of that shit off of her and equip it to Zell and Cypher. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna show you guys something that's really, really easy so you don't have to go and like unequip shit like piece by piece so go to switch go to the member that's not in your party which would be her go ahead and put that that switches all the magic all the stuff that's like junction to you all the guardian forces all that shit switches to that person that way you don't have to go and do it like one by one i have to do ciphers one by one because we don't we didn't have a third party member to start out with so we're gonna go ahead and give them that one uh, we're gonna go ahead and junction some fucking magic when we get some. Um, we gotta do fucking abilities here. So go to ability. Oh shit, fucked up. God damn it, I want you number two. Draw. Okay. Let's make sure everything's copacetic here, right? You know, you never know. Let's go ahead and see if we can junction something to that. Now we don't have any uh we don't have any strong enough magic just yet. 
to do that, but you get the gist of it, you know. Let's go ahead and heal. Because we didn't heal when we came back earlier. So, alright, we're going to go ahead and save. That way, if something happens and my computer decides to act up again, I can come back and just, like, finish this right off for you guys, right back where I left off. I'm just going to make sure that I don't have a fucking disc warning. Okay, so far I don't. I deleted a lot of stuff. It, I guess I had, like, no memory left or something. I'm kind of a file hoarder, so. Alright, so first thing you guys need to not do. Do not talk to anybody else in this mission. Only Zell and Cypher. Don't talk to any of these kids right here. The entire mission, do not talk to anybody, okay? If you talk to people in this fucking game, in this little exam, it will be a one point penalty. So, everything's guarded by, or graded by points, okay? They grade it like a bunch of different fucking things. So, if you want to avoid getting docked a bunch of fucking points, do not talk to anybody in this fucking field exam. Basically, rule of thumb is, keep your mouth shut unless spoken to you, okay? The only time that you can speak without being penalized is when you're in the square with Cypher waiting. Speaking is a one-point penalty. Unless if you talk to, like, a certain one, well, there's, like, another character that comes up. Unless if you talk to him, which is two points, very, it's a very serious thing, okay? Um, so yeah. Don't talk to anybody, alright? Also, do not insult Cypher or go against his orders. That is a one-point penalty every single time, okay? Keep that in mind. Rule of thumb so far, do not talk to anybody except for your squad mates, okay? Let's go. Absolutely no one. Let's fucking ace this test, y'all. Yeah. I'm probably not gonna finish the whole exam for you guys today. It's almost midnight, but I at least want to get it started. Are Dollar General's reinforcements? Yeah, we are. What's up? Let's just fuck them up, dude. Can I just attack? <coughs> Cypher's the only other person in the game with a gun blade, so. That, uh, remember how you're supposed to press R for the trigger for, uh, the main character's gun blade? You also have to do that when Cypher's in your party. So make sure that you're paying attention to that as well. You still have to pull R1 when, when Cypher attacks, so. job, right? Let's do this shit. Let's go do some things. Do not talk to anybody. I'm just gonna reiterate that the whole fucking time I'm here. Do not do it. I had to find that out like the hard way. Like the first time I ever played this game when it came out in the 90s. Like I'm like, oh fuck dude, I failed. And I'm like, oh okay. And then I come to find out. Like, yeah. There's a little cafe over there to the left. You will get penalized 20 fucking points, I think. Yeah. There's an enemy that you gotta fight later, and he'll be chasing you, and you gotta get away from him, right? Do not run into that cafe to hide. Do not hide from that fucking thing whatsoever. Okay? Because if you go into that cafe while you're running from that thing, 20 point fucking penalty. They don't play. Don't be a coward. So, just an FYI. Do not go into that cafe whatsoever. So, there you go. Next. They're gonna get dog 20 points. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Don't go into that store either. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. All you Gerber baby cowards out there. <laughs> We're in the town of uh, Dollar General. 
My nicknames are great. I hear a police helicopter outside. Good times. I gotta say, living in this city, in this area, you know, it's always got some kind of entertainment going on. No cable? Just turn on the police scanner for Jacksonville downtown. You'll be fine. Nobody needs cable. Oh, this angle's weird. If that makes sense. Alright. Maybe more, so here's what we do. We're gonna go look around for enemies, okay? We gotta do as we're told. Don't even talk to the dog right now at this point. There's a time where you have to later. I will tell you when, okay? I'm probably not gonna get to that point today. Like I said, it's almost midnight. I wanna at least get y'all to a part where, you know, you get the gist of it. I wanna give you guys some content today because of my, you know, my technical mishap earlier. So yeah, when you go to the right and you start approaching over there, two soldiers are gonna pop out at you. So let's go ahead and beat his ass, you know? They're fucking weak, you know what I mean? I need a back scratcher, dude. Damn it. Okie dokie. that's all of them. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, go talk to our dipshit squad leader. It's okay, he can't hear me. <laughs> We're on standby, so... He's even rude to animals, so yeah, that's real cool. It's a real catch, ladies. Better hurry. I don't have audio right now, but um, what he's talking about when he says it sounds like it's starting like a bunch of explosions are in the background, so. They're fighting for control over a satellite tower. Um, there's been no broadcast of any kind in 17 years. And if I tell y'all why, it's gonna spoil the game. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. There's been something that has prevented, you know, the over-the-air fucking transmissions and all that shit. Can't broadcast nothing for 17 years. So. It gets explained later. I explain certain parts now without spoiling the game because I just figure it was, it's just easier. This game has a lot of information to take in. And I'd rather y'all hear it from somebody who's played this game hundreds of times like I have. Because sometimes the tutorials on this game is just fucking dumb, you know? Yeah, he's gonna flip out. He's gonna throw a temper tantrum right for it. Do you see it? There you go. He just wants to fight, basically, and that's why he's throwing a toddler fit, so... Yup. Dog's trying to tell us something. He's howling right now. I know I don't have sound, so. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. We got Gerber baby soldiers going up down that path. The fuck are they going? We'll, we'll find out.
up, we have to follow his orders, even though it's literally against the mission. So, yeah, we all go for that one. Cool, let's do this. Go ahead and just get rid of them with a guardian force real quick. Let's get some like compatibility going, you know what I mean? Also make sure you check like all these soldiers. Stock up on some, you know, some magic and shit. Obviously you're gonna wanna go with healing first, and then um there's there's different levels of magic in this game. Um there's cure, which is first level, curing obviously magic, and there's a uh, Cura, like with an A on the end, which is obviously second level, and then Cura Raga is the strongest, um, Cure Magic. Unless if you, like, get, like, an elixir or, like, full, the full fucking healing thing, which some characters have as their limit breaks, I believe, later on in the game. So, yeah, Cura Raga. It goes the same with all the others. Thunder, Thundara, Thundaga, Fire, Firaga, Fira, Firaga, you know, all that shit. So, that's all, it's pretty much the same. So I hope that uh, was a little bit easier for y'all. Obviously, we're still in the beginning of the game, so everything is just first level. Still doesn't hurt to fucking stock up, because like I said, there are guardian forces that have abilities where you can get certain items and you can make magic out of them. But we'll get into that when I have a chance. Phoenix down. Phoenix down obviously revives you, so. Let's go ahead and check what abilities that we have. I'll show you personally what I like to start with, what I want to learn. Obviously, HPJ is very important because that means you can junction magic and, you know, obviously raise your health points with whatever magic that you put on there, whatever magic you junction to that. Um. I can't remember what the fuck the name of it is, but I think the best one, at least early on, is like any kind of like healing magic, and then like I used Thundaga after uh, after that, and then there was like one more that I used like all the way to the end of the game, but um, you'll see it. So for like yeah, start out with that. Start out with the HP first. That way you can junction magic to it, and you can get higher HP. So, the more of a certain magic that you have in stock, the stronger that attribute's gonna be. So that means, like, say if you had Cure, Junction to the HPJ, okay? The more fucking Cures you have, the more your HP is gonna go up, you know? And also, it'll go down if you use them too much. So make sure that you pay attention to that. Oh shit, nope, 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 go back, go back, there we go. Let's take a look at compatibility here. As you can see, this particular Guardian Force is equipped as L. That's how I always play this game. Every time I play this game, certain Guardian Forces go on certain members for me, at least. I don't know. His compatibility right now is 600. So, the more you use him and, like, you know, the, the more your compatibility goes up. And I also mentioned that there's items that will help with that, but that's not going to pop up till a little bit later. This one I always have junction to uh, the main character. It's at 632. She's currently learning strength, so it's the same thing with HP, except it's your strength. Which, um... I don't know which one would be good for strength. This kind of like such a broad field on that one. And then Cypher's got, uh, this one. So let's go ahead and change that to HPJ. Good thing we checked, because I want that learned immediately. So, gotta make sure you keep up on things. All that good stuff. Alrighty, let's go ahead and go on to the next one after my mini tutorial. I just feel like their tutorials leave a lot of shit out sometimes, and it's like, when I first played this game for the first time, I was lost. I didn't buy the strategy guide until, like, after I beat the game, like, in the 90s. You remember that? They actually had, like, the paperback, like, strategy guides. Lord. 
What is the time gone, man? Like 1999, I was playing this game in my bedroom. I'm fresh out of fucking high school. And now I'm here, like two decades later, teaching people how to play it. You know, because we're in a, right now we're in a world where like kids have no idea what the fuck these games are. And I think it's important to show it. Whoa, that was like a glitch. You see that? Why is my bridge having a seizure? We're not gonna, you know, whatever. That was weird. Yep, don't talk to him. Don't talk to nobody. Absolutely nobody. Not even wounded soldiers. You can't do it. So. Unless if it's obviously part of a fucking cutscene. So. But as I was saying, kids these days do not play stuff like this. These games have just become like a lost, like, remnant of the past. You know, it's, it's sad. So that's what I want to do with my channel. I want to, like, bring these games back to life. Show that, hey, you know what? Retro games are fun, too. If it weren't for these games, we wouldn't have all the cool new fancy shit that we have today. Remember when we thought that, like, Nintendo 64 was, like, peak fucking value? <laughs> like... <gasps> oh, man. We're all just gonna do Guardian Forces right now. So there we go. This thing can inflict poison, if I'm not mistaken, so make sure you keep an eye out. So another thing I don't think that they really... They didn't cover. So you see how, like, there's, um... I'm gonna circle it for you guys during this little thing. You see how, like... There's like a gray bar covering the name of the person summoning, right? And what they're, like the name of the guarding force that they're bringing out. And then it has the guarding force's HP. So if your enemy hits you in the middle of like, on the way to wait to like for summoning, it's going to take it off the guardian force's HP. So yes, they can get killed that way because they're taking, they're taking it out of their hit points. So make sure you're careful and don't get your guardian forces killed. Try to get those quick summoning times and compatibility up as quick as you can. So otherwise, that shit's expensive. Nobody has time for that, right? Like, they never even explained that part in the fucking tutorial. But I'm here for you people, okay? I'm telling you what's up. So like, yeah, it doesn't come out of your HP. It comes out of theirs when you're in the middle of summoning them with the blue bar and all that shit. If somebody were to hit you know, Cypher right now with a 396 point hit, that Guardian Force protecting him would die. So, yeah. Let's draw something from him. Let's stock up on some cure. We'll just attack him physically too, because it's Cypher's turn. Way to spend a Monday evening. Whoever actually watches my videos, you rock. Well, we listened to Cypher. He said to save the last experience for him. He gets more than everybody else. So let's see if that theory is true, right? It's not. So he needs to just shut the fuck up, right? Another thing, like, try to keep, like, your guardian force shit, like, uh, like kind of, like, don't use them as much, because you're also being, like, kind of graded on how many things you kill or whatever. It doesn't count if it's by, like, guardian force, if I remember correctly. Either way, better be safe than sorry. So, once again, don't talk to anybody. Don't talk to that guy. Just follow, follow Tweedledum up the stairs while he fucks up everything. Nope. God, my hands are stiff today, man. Lifting up that window AC unit was not an easy feat. I'm like 120 pounds and 5 feet tall. I almost dropped it like twice at least. 
well, there's no AC or heat that comes into this area because, like I said, I live in a converted carport slash garage. It's cozy as fuck and it's awesome looking and there's like a fuck ton of room, but like, that was the only drawback. But hey, at least I have a ceiling fan. So it's like, you know, the air is not stale. Shit like that, you know. Good times. Yeah, I really need it. See, look, we, see, um, we learned, uh, abilities. The Guardian Forces learned abilities. So now that, you know, HPJ and Strength J have been learned, we can actually equip, like, magic to that stat now. So let's go ahead and see if there's anything we can use right now. So you go to the Junction, Magic, click on that. Yellow means it's going up. White means it's at even. And then down is less obviously so try to find the one that gets it up the most right now it's a pretty even thing but we're gonna go ahead and go with Isuna which uh, heals all you know status ailments and then this guardian force also knows magic junctioning but we don't have anything to we don't have enough spells to uh, you know improve on that yet so let's go ahead and check everybody else's real quick Let's go ahead and go to strength, see if there's anything. So see, I can raise my strength to, it's 18 right now. If I junction fire, it's 19. My strength is 19. So if you were to go out and um, draw fire magic from an enemy or like a draw point, the more that you accumulate, obviously the limit's 100 each for each spell, your strength's gonna go up and up and up. It's how I get high HP so fucking early in these games, because I'm just like going around just farming spells until it gets to 100. It, it does seem like it's time consuming, but it really is worth it in the end. That's just my opinion, so. Plus somebody learned HPJ. Let's go take a look at our abilities. Now that like two two of them have learned something, so we can go and go ahead and choose something else what you wanna do next. For me, I want to go here, and something I brought up previously. You can refine a lightning and wind magic from an item, depending on what item you have. If you, uh, if you use this ability, you can make like thunder, thundara, or thundaga magic. So we're going to go ahead and do that, because thunder is like this one of the most powerful, you know, <laughs> powerful fucking spells. It really raises your attributes like super quick. So I'm also going to do that for ice. Same thing as previous with the thunder, but with ice, obviously. He's still learning HPJ, so we're going to go ahead and leave that alone. Let's go ahead and heal a little a smidgey poo. Alright. Onwards and forwards. I never realized, like how much shit they leave out in the tutorials until I started doing this for y'all. I've wanted to be a YouTube gamer since like 2016, just haven't had the time. Yeah, see, they wanted the, uh, they wanted the communication tower. So. They're trying to repair it so they can get something off on the air. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. These two. <laughs> Where's you guys have a fucking Hallmark card? He just gets left out all the time. He's so high strong, it's gonna be okay. Swatting flies. <laughs> the fucking shade. <laughs> oh, here we go. And this is me. In real life.
remember the girl that we gave a tour to in the beginning at the directory? That's her right there. Yep, you're the guy who showed me around. Thanks, I don't get so lost anymore. You're welcome. This is the main character of the game, by the way. off the cliff, which is going to bring me to my next point. Do not, I repeat, do not follow her and jump off the cliff. If you jump off that cliff for a shortcut, like she asks, you lose five points in your exam, okay? Just go all around, okay? I'm the most impatient person in the world, trust me. You jump off that cliff, you're going to lose five fucking points. And you want to get, obviously... As many as you want. As you can, obviously, but yeah. Just don't fucking do it. She's gonna be like, why didn't you just jump? I'm gonna be like, uh... I care about my grade, heathen. What do you mean? The dudes in the red, they're like a higher rank, uh... Fucking soldier, so... What was my nickname for them again? Ger like, Gerber Babies? Anybody else have a keyboard that I can use? It's easier to roll off the tongue. My brain just like short circuit. <laughs> I'm fine. This is fine. You can always call him Grape. Grape Soda Country. Yeah. I don't know. I'll make it up as I go. Y'all know me and my nicknames if you've been a fan of me this far and actually watched my fucking videos. They're like one to two hours long at some point. It would have been much quicker if you just jumped. Yeah, I like that five points. Thank you. I, you normally wouldn't jump off a cliff. Yeah, you don't jump off a cliff. She's running our party now. That's a reminder to make sure that you take everything off of Cypher and switch it over to her. Because he is out of our party now, after this point, just FYI. Well, I mean, it's already, everything is already, like, taken off. Of, yeah, so. Boom. He took all of her magic, I think. But I don't even think there was really any to, like, begin with. Let's make sure she's got abilities. Alright. Fucking fuck. Alright. My brain's on fire. Yeah, there's the uh, communication tower right there. That's what they're after. They want to repair it and, uh, you know, do some shady ass shit with it. <laughs> Thank God, Cypher's such a twat. Oh, he gets worse in the game, so don't even. Yeah. I'm gonna cut it off here though, folks. I'm getting pretty, uh, hungry, so. At least I'll be able to upload some shit for y'all. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. I'm sorry I couldn't play Chrono Cross today. I had some technical issues. I will probably go back to that tomorrow. I don't mind playing multiple games for you guys at once, it gives me a backup. So, um, thank you for tuning in. All that good shit. Hope you enjoyed it. Um,. My cash app will be in the description if you want to help out a little bit because we're struggling over here pretty bad. And uh, also, if you have a game you want me to play, put it in the comments. You know, because that it's that easy. I'm here. I'm here for y'all, and I really enjoy this. So I want to do what you guys want. So everybody, take care out there. Stay safe. Stay laced up. Have a good night, guys. Peace. <laughs>